Are you hearing the words technology cycles more and more? Because we certainly are. So let's find out what Abamia are doing to make your life a lot easier. I am Arato Light. I'm in charge of projects and innovation here in Ibarmia. And we have developed uh, technology cycles to, to give an answer to, to the market because we see that there are still less and less qualified people to use the machines and the machines are more and more complex so we have a, a gap here. And we have developed the, the technology cycles to make the machine easier to use and to add more functionalities but in an easy way to the machine. So can you give me an example of say three technology cycles that you're using to make it easier? for the engineers? Okay, I, I will give you three, three examples, but of course we can adapt the technology cycles to the customer needs. But some of, the, of them which are critical for us, one of them is the auto tanning. Uh, here we, we have to adapt uh, the machine to the different parts that we can make, okay? I, I'm a customer and I have a, a really light part and a, a, after that a heavy part to machine. So I can't have the same adjustments for both parts. So what we try to do is to adapt automatically the machine to the weight and to the shape of the part that I have on the table of the machine. So we, we make this auto tanning, auto adjustment of the machine to the needs of, the, of each part. The second one would be the fingerprint. Here we try to make a health check of the machine, okay? We finish all the machines before the, delivering them to the customers, of course, in the, in the factory in Ibarmia. And we have some movements defined and some parameters that we are collecting from these movements. And we, we have the health check before delivery the machine. And then we put the machine on the customer side and we see, okay, is the machine okay or not? We check again the same movements and we, we have this health check and it's useful for the customer to know which is the condition of his machine, okay? He has a machine, a huge investment, and he needs to know if the machine is in a good condition or not. Maybe before making a high added value part that costs too much money and he wants to avoid the risk, so he makes this health check. He sees if everything is correct. If not, he calls Sibarmia and we try to put the machine in the best conditions. And the third one is the is the spindle protection. You know that the spindle is the, is the heart of the machine, it's the part that we use to, to remove the metal. So we, we want to keep it in the best condition because if we have a crash, if we have a problem, it takes long and it takes much money. So we want to avoid any, any problem and we are monitoring the condition of this spindle and we try to keep it in the, in the safe zone, okay? The supplier is giving us some safe conditions to work and we try to keep it in this zone to avoid any problem and to have uh, the parts in the, in the best quality. And also we try to, to detect this kind of vibrations that we have and we avoid any big damages if there is a collision. So we, we have those, those functionalities with the spindle protection. Are you finding a lot of success with your technology cycles then? Yeah, because uh, they are uh, really important to use the machine in the best way. I mean, if not, you are using the machine in like uh, in the 10% or 20% of its capacity, so it makes no sense. So it's really, uh, really good to see the customer using this functionality and having more and more performance from the machine that if they are not using it. Mm -hmm.